All right, Kuchar Gate has come to a close. Matt Kuchar, by all accounts, the nicest guy on the PGA Tour, found himself in one hell of a mess over the last few weeks when news surfaced that he'd only paid David Ortiz, his fill-in caddy, a fraction of the usual fee after a victory at the Mayakoba Classic in November. Friday at the Genesis Open, Kuchar, who'd come under withering criticism for the move and subsequent statements, apologized and vowed to pay the caddy in full. I let myself, my family, my partners, and those close to me down, but I also let David down, Kuchar said in a statement. I plan to call David Friday night when I'm off the course to apologize for the situation he's been put in, and I've made sure he has received the full total that he has requested. So what happened with Kuchar and the caddy? All right, well, Kuchar earned $1.3 million for his victory at the Mayakoba. He'd hired Ortiz, a caddy with local knowledge of the course, since Kuchar's regular caddy was unable to make the trip. Kuchar and Ortiz struck a handshake agreement for $4,000 if Kuchar recorded a top 10 finish, and that was what Kuchar paid, plus a $1,000 bonus after the win, even though regular caddies get 10% of tournament winnings. Kuchar added to the controversy when he made comments suggesting that the amount he'd paid Ortiz was fair to some critics that smacked of privilege and insensitivity. Two traits which aren't rare on tour, but which Kuchar generally doesn't display. The extra thousand was, thank you, it was a great week, Kuchar told Golf.com on Wednesday. Those were the terms. He was in agreement with those terms. That's where I struggle. I don't know what happened. Someone must have said, you know, you need much more. So why did Kuchar change his mind? Friday facing intense criticism and getting no support from his fellow players, Kuchar walked back those words. This week, I made comments that were out of touch and insensitive, making a bad situation worse, Kuchar said. They make it seem like I was marginalizing David Ortiz and his financial situation, which was not my intention. I, I read them again and cringed. This is not who I am and not what I represent. My entire tour career, I've tried to show respect and positivity. In this situation, I've not lived up to those values or expectations I've set for myself. Kuchar had initially offered another $15,000 bonus, but Ortiz had sought another $45,000 for a total of $50,000, or just under 4% of Kuchar's winnings. Matt is a good person and a great player, Ortiz told Golf.com this week. He treated me very well. I'm only disappointed by how it all finished. But now it appears the matter is closed. I never wanted to bring any negativity to the Mayakoba Golf Classic, Kuchar said. I feel it's my duty to represent the tournament well, so I'm making a donation back to the event to be distributed to the many philanthropic causes working to positively impact the communities of Playa del Carmen and Cancun. For my fans as well as fans of the game, I want to apologize to you for not representing the values instilled in this incredible sport. Golf is a game where we call penalties on ourselves. I should have done that long ago and not let this situation escalate. Pretty stand-up dude. I don't know, could it have been a mistake? Uh, a little low, you know, for somebody who have won a lot of money. But um, regardless, I mean, the guy's a stand-up guy. He's got a long, long, long history of just, you know, of being a stand-up, positive force in the game. Yeah. Matt Kuchar's cool. Right? What do you guys think? Oh, yeah.